Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Tech. This is our third episode and, well, we're getting used to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, our segments today, our first segment is going to be web browsers, which, you know, a web browser is what Google, Yahoo. Yeah. We're going to explain which one, you know, the we're best ones. we explain our first, yeah, all of them. Yeah. Them, all and the then, stores, yeah. yeah. Okay, and our second segments are going to be MySpace versus Facebook. Which one's better? Why do you like it? Why don't we like it? Uh, certain reasons for that. Should you have one or shouldn't you have one? Yeah, compare and contrast. And then our third segment is going to be search engines, um, like Firefox, Internet Didn't Explorer. You say that? No, I mean web browsers. No. Oh, search engines. Okay. Our, uh, <laughs> yeah. So which one's better to use? Okay. Well, we're first going to start out with what we said before, web, web browsers. browsers. And we do have a list. So then we'll we'll show you that in a little while. Uh, yeah, the list of all the search engines we just kind of got online and just, you know, played around with the search engines. And uh, th there's a lot. There's a ton of them out there. I know, there. there's a ton. You have your open source ones. My favorite is Firefox. Would you like to ex What? Firefox. Search engines. Oh, search engines. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay. I'm getting Oh, my God, yo. Okay, my bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. <laughs> you want to do that then? Dude, can you play the list? Yeah, why don't you play the list this way I don't get mixed up again. Thank you. Search okay, engines. search engines. Okay, let's try this again. Google, Yahoo, <laughs> Dogpile, Wolfram Alpha, Cooley, Hotbot, Hot All the Web, Lycos, Bing, Live Search, AOL, Gigablast, WebMD. Okay. Those are just some, but yeah. Those yeah. are some. Okay, let's um, go to my topic. Okay, uh, the reason we put down at the list, the reason we put Bing then Live Search was because Bing just became Live Search. And it, it took over. Yeah, it. it completely switched. I don't like either of them, but. They say it's supposed to be like a thinking engine, yeah, but. I don't. Yeah, it's not that good. If it's, it was a thinking engine, it would be a lot better than what it is. It, I don't, it, it doesn't explain a lot. It doesn't, when you type it in, it comes up with like what Live Search did. It's, yeah, what I hate mm. about Live Search the most yeah. is that Windows forces you to use it in the Internet Explorer. You know that? Yeah, they won't let you on the sidebar yeah. there. It won't. You won't. Well, you no, have you to can. Use you can choose another one. They've they upgraded that in Windows Seven. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really like that. Uh, but yeah, I really don't like the search anyway. I'd prefer to go with Yahoo or Google. Yeah, and then Google, amazing search engine. If you haven't heard of it, I mean, you're living under a rock. Yeah. Google is like everybody knows of it. Definitely. Everybody uses it. It's one of the better ones out there. The, well, uh, the ones that haven't been so told so much are um, like uh, Dogpile. We used to use Dogpile. Dogpile is the combination of yeah. like Yahoo and a ton of other. And Wolfram Alpha. You, like Wolfram Wolf Alpha is like it's brand new actually. It's actually just Wolf came out like a month ago. A couple months ago, yeah. Wolfram Alpha is made for facts, straight up facts. So. What you do is you type in like your name, and it comes up with like statistics on your name, like how many names there is out that uh, there are yeah, out there. Yeah, you can compare you compare, compare names, put in like my Alan Billings and Thomas Billings, compare them, and say, and it will automatically tell you, oh, there are so many Thomas Billingses, there are so many Alan Billingses. And you can even yeah compare them between compare each them, other. contrast them. Uh, the next thing is like you can put in math equations, put in a math equation in there, and it will solve it for you It'll automatically. Do it for you. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and it, then. Oh, there's so much. Like, if you put in, like, a country, it comes up with just straight Yeah, it will tell you the statistics of the country. Uh, it'll, it's it's basically a mix of, like, CIA.org. Yeah, you know, that's the, the facts book. Yeah, yeah, fact list. And, like, a whole bunch of sites. There's a site called um, howmanyaretheofme.com or something like that. And it's just, like, a whole mixture of those, and it's just all rolled into one. The bad thing about this site is um, if you put in, like, what caused the Great Depression, It'll yeah, give you it facts no. on the Great Depression, but it won't straight up yeah, answer your question. It won't do anything for that. It, it's not you a, have to put in just basic information. Because it doesn't bring you to web pages where people talk. It's like if you facts. search yahoo.com, what it does is it gives you the uh, stock information yeah, for them. Yeah, stocks. It gives yeah. you, put in a stock name, and it will give you the information on them. It will not give you information like where is the closest Dunkin' Donuts. It won't give you that. Yeah, it's not that kind of search no. engines for facts. Those, like we said, were like more like MapQuest and you know stuff like that. You don't want it. You gotta choose that one for only information. That's only an informational database. Uh, MapQuest, like Al just said, is a. If you don't know about it, again, it's one of the bigger. Yeah, uh, more popular, finding place. Finding maps. Where you kind of just go to MapQuest.com. You type in where you want to go. 
starting location, ending location, yeah. and gives you the directions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I believe Yahoo has Yahoo one too. has maps. Uh, Google has maps. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you can go to anywhere. And then WebMD. WebMD is another oh, search engine. Yeah. Um, it's one of the ones that if you type in like your symptoms of your illness, it actually come up with like what illnesses you could have. Like say you type yeah. in like runny nose, you could it'll come up with like flu, common yeah, cold. It will, yeah, whatever. it'll come up with common cold stuff like that. Also, the WebMD is also good for uh, other um, purposes such as like dieting. It comes up with great yeah. for health stuff, yeah. health information. Let's say you want to lose so much weight, it'll tell you how what you should. Wasn't eat. it made by doctors? Like it, I'm I think it was me. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure doctors edit the info. So yeah, I'm not sure. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and um, yeah, there's there's a whole there's a whole bunch out there that we don't even have on our list. Yeah. Because when we looked at the list, go to like Wikipedia and search your list. Yeah, it comes it's up. It's a big list. We couldn't I, even we fit everything on there. It would take us like the yeah, show. Yeah, it's a yeah. It would take a long time. It would take in like a minute. Easy. Do, yeah. No, but more than that, yeah. dude. Scrolling It was down. a long list, and it gave you... There's different ones. There's ones it gave that are everything. just in the U.S., and then there's ones that are just in China. Yeah, Japan and in Japan whatever. and stuff. So it, we had to narrow those down as well. Yeah. But And then there's... You know, you got you have a whole bunch of them. So, you know, you could choose from a variety of them, but different ones give you different information. Yeah. Uh, Yahoo, the Yahoo search. That one is... It, it's pretty good. It's like I think it's kind of like Google. Well, I think Google and but, Yahoo ha basically have the same search terms. Yeah, kind of. I think I, Google's I don't think better. Any different. I think Google's a little better, but not by very much. Yahoo's yeah. okay. Yahoo, Yahoo's pretty good. Well, it depends. They've also changed. Uh, Google has changed itself a lot within search, and so has Yahoo. Yahoo now has a thing where it will. Auto, uh, Google and Yahoo do this, where it'll automatically give you like information. Like once you start saying. Um, uh, once you start typing something, I'm not gonna give you cu uh, results that may or may not be there. Yeah. Also, as well, it's also changed in the way that the fact is that uh, you type in like a math problem, like m uh, put in miles to feet. It will give you the equation automatically at the top of the page, but it also gives you other information as yeah, well. Yeah, the the web pages that yeah. you can go to. And also, what I like about Google that it's been doing is that it gives you a um, Almost like a warning. It will say that this site is known for viruses. Yeah. Down, don't download anything from the site. But if you also uh, download certain programs like uh, certain AVG antivirus programs, it will do that for you automatically. Yeah, AVG it, is one it, of the better yeah, ones. Yeah. It will automatically do that for you in Google. It will do all searches of all websites before you get into them. Yeah. So I, you know, I like Google better for the antivirus that they've been doing. I would say Google is the best for yeah. just web searches. Yeah. Um, Google and Yahoo are the two. Yeah, the, the web two, searches. They're, they're 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 campaigning for each other. Yeah, and yeah. then Wolfram Alpha, hands down, is the best fact site, and then um, WebMD is the best for you know symptoms, illnesses. Now we really haven't talked about um, Lycos. A uh, Lycos, yeah, it's a pretty good search. Lycos is okay. It's more of a Bing's. It's more it's more like Bing than anything else. We really don't prefer it. Like I don't use Lycos rarely ever. But yeah, I use more Google or Ask.com. We don't need to talk about Ask.com today. Um, actually, we should go to a commercial. You want to go to a commercial? Okay. We're going to go to a commercial. We'll be back in a